Hello, Professor Toybox here, along with Aladdin and the Genie, and today we're going to play through the Agrabah Desert Toy Box, which is the third toy box in my Aladdin adventure. So let's head out to the desert, and I'll fast forward and meet you there after it's done loading. Okay, here we are in the desert. The city and the palace are behind us, and if we want to return that way, we can run out on this little bridge, um, but I'll show you that later. Our mission in this toy box is to use the scarab that we recovered from Jafar's tower to find the Cave of Wonders. And that mission starts at the radar marker ahead of us. It only takes a minute or so to complete, so before we go there and advance the main story, I'll take you on a quick tour of the upper area of the desert. So the first thing we're going to do is come over to this tree over here, because this is a massive toy box in terms of sheer physical size. And so before we go anywhere, we're going to need some transportation. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't bring our horse with us through this toy box door, but we have the genie and he can help us out with that. And so as you can see, he conjured up some horses for us, and that's good. There's one for each player if there's two players. And first thing let's do is run up here on top of one of these neighboring sand dunes and just kind of take a look at the size of this place. It's just massive. <laughs> it goes on and on and on forever out that way. And um, so, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, now we have a horse. And uh, as much as I wanted to use Abu in his uh, elephant form here, we need a fast horse to be able to uh, get around in this toy box, especially once we start chasing the scarab. But... Um, before we uh, go ahead and do that, again, let's take a little look around, and you may have noticed there's an outpost over here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Hello, boys. <laughs> Okay, there's one more area. Okay, and now that they've been dispatched, we've got a uh, sidekick well here. We toss Genie in for a reward. And he coughs up some pirate bombs. So those are kind of fun. And it's not necessary for the game, but it's kind of fun to mix things up a little bit with the combat. So that's a good thing. And that's really all there is to the outpost. It's a fun little place to explore, but nothing too crazy. And as you can see, it's still just huge. I'm really amazed how big this place is. Kind of surprised me. I've got these little uh, whirlwinds that are scooting around. So we want to make sure we uh, avoid those. I got several of them in here connected to a path. And of course, you've seen this before. If you get caught in one, <laughs> it sends you flying. So not a big penalty, but something you'd expect to see in the desert. And we got a radar marker over here for a little side quest. So we'll go take a look at that. And we got an oasis up here. There's really nothing uh, up here, just a little bit of water. Nothing too remarkable. And a huge canyon maze out there. We'll get to that in a little while. Okay, we've got a townsperson down. He says, I need your help. Yeah, I guess so. Well, let's pick him up, take him up to the oasis. Or her. I'm not quite sure which that is. <laughs> it's one of the uh, characters from the uh, Twilight of the Republic playset. There we go. And she says, I'm in your debt. So, save the townsperson. Got him some water. A short little side quest, but something to do. It seemed uh, to fit this theme. 
you can see this just huge. <laughs> I keep saying that, but it really is a huge toy box. Okay, and that's really about it for the upper part of the desert here. You can explore around a little bit, and there's some nice vistas and maybe one or two little uh, treasure chests hidden around here. So it's worth exploring, but I don't want to spend uh, the entire video running around here looking at nothing, so you can see all about that when we build this toy box later. For now, let's head up here and do the uh, main story. So we'll come back to that radar marker. So here we are at the entrance to the desert region, and there's the radar marker. And so if you remember from the Aladdin movie, when Jafar combined the two halves of the scarab, it kind of took off and you had to keep up with it. That's why we've got a fast horse and not a boo. And so as we come up to the radar marker, now we've got a little sparkling thing there, and it says, let's go. And off it goes. And we need to kick into high gear and keep up with that thing, because it's going to outpace us. So no time to dilly-dally. We need to be booking. And we're coming up to the canyon maze here, but as you see, the scarab isn't going that way. So we're going to head up over top of the canyons. We'll have to make some jumps to keep up with it. The canyon will come into play later. That thing's getting way out ahead of us. <laughs> and it's heading for that little rise. <laughs> that voice you heard was from Papa H, one of my subscribers. Thank you, Papa H, for doing that for me. And there we are. Yay, we found the Cave of Wonders. <laughs> but um, at this point, we would enter the Cave of Wonders and search for Jafar's lamp. But I'm not going to do that today. We'll do that in a few weeks. But once we found the lamp, we emerge from the cave and we come out back here. And then we need to return to the palace. But while getting here was pretty easy, finding our way back is going to be a little more difficult because standing between us and the upper desert is a maze of caverns that we're going to have to find our way through. And so we have an entrance to those caverns over there. And there's another entrance over here by this other oasis. So we'll head over this way. And I put those canyons in there to kind of give the uh, player something to do when they return to the desert. I didn't want it to be just a fast ride through the desert, long, boring ride to get back to the city toy box. So that kind of breaks things up and gives you something to do on the way out. But we come up to the oasis, and whoa, there's some enemies. <laughs> Pepper this guy with these bombs here, or try to. They don't seem to be hitting me. <laughs> Whoa, the leader of this little band of cutthroats is pretty tough. Whoa. Get up, get up. There we go. Finally got him. <laughs> Man, those guys are tough. All right, a few more of these little hammer guys around. Fortunately, they're pushovers. But it's a nice little break from the Agrabah guards. And even though they're Star Wars characters, they don't have any laser guns, so that's good. This just keeps getting better. Hey, level up. Cool. Anyway, these uh, those canyon guards... Uh, these guy, <laughs> guards, these uh, thieves have hammers, and that kind of fits in with the theme. So now let's see what Genie coughs up for us. And we got a flintlock. So, 
<laughs> just another new little thing to play with to break up the break up the gameplay a little bit. And in here we got a health capsule in case we need it. All right. So that's it for this little oasis. Just a little band of pirates hiding out over here. And now let's head for the caverns. See if we can find our way out of here. And it's all open up above. But unfortunately that doesn't really help us a whole lot. So let's go this way. As you can see, there's all kinds of side passages. <laughs> I know I'm trying to go this direction. It looks like that one takes us back the way we came. If we come through here... Ah, there we go. So now we can get out of this little maze. And before I head up uh, to the top of the desert, to the exit, we'll head up here to the mountain. And there's a little trail up here that heads up into the mountains. Oops, <laughs> wrong button. And we can climb up here. And there's a few, uh, few little rewards for coming up this way. First we got a view of the canyons there. And the Cave of Wonders out there. That little oasis we just came from. And if we climb up on top of this peak, yep, we got another pirate bomb. So there's a couple of randomly generated uh, tools up here and packs, which is good because uh, if you only have one player, this allows them to pick up uh, a second player to pick up things. And then up in here, looks like we got. Uh, Penelope's uh, <laughs> cherry bombs. <laughs> so those are kind of fun. But uh, let's go ahead and put those away. And uh, oh, there we go. All right. So a few little places to explore. And now let's go ahead and get out of this desert. So again, once we've explored the Cave of Wonders, then we need to head back to the palace for the final showdown with Jafar. As you can see, if we didn't have a horse, this would take a long time. <laughs> so then we're back here, and then we can head back to the city. But I'll go ahead and cancel out of that for now. So that's my desert toy box. Over the next few weeks, I'll show you how to build it. And that should go much faster than the first two toy boxes, because even though the desert is large, it's mostly terrain and there's not a lot of logic. So until next time, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my video today. Be sure to come back on Wednesday for the next episode, or better yet, just subscribe to my channel and turn on your notifications so you won't miss it. That's all for me today. Take care, and I'll see you next time.